everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 290 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. I wish we would have done this one way sooner, way in the beginning of this year, because it was so easy. This one is very similar to a traditional granny square, just using a different uh, method in just doing simple chains and single crochets and then doing double crochets. It's just so simple and worked up so fast for me. Big, huge thank you to Julie for designing the square and making it so that we can use it in this project. Make sure you check out her written pattern for this square. Check out the color she used. She actually did one in all, um, or somebody uh, posted on her Ravelry that they did it all in a solid color. Uh, but I'm using two different colors today. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. You can see that there's just scrap yarns in this project today. Uh, this is a 10 ply size 4 worsted weight medium yarn, but you can use any double knitting, any worsted weight, any Aran yarn that you have just scraps that you've got lying around and then we're going to demonstrate this square today in an H size crochet hook which is five millimeters so make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends and these tools just come in handy in the whole project of the 365 days of granny squares now before we start I want to mention there are links in the description of this video so there's a link to Julie's written pattern there's also a link to my blog yarnutopia.com where you'll get all 365 days of granny squares. If you go to that blog and click the thumbnail of the photo of the square, it will take you to its video tutorial here on YouTube. And then at the bottom of that blog, there's a list of the ones that have written patterns available to you. So you will see number 290, March Square by Julie. You can click that and follow along with that today. There's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram page. So any social media that you need to find me on or contact me through or whatever, follow me on all my platforms platforms and then also you can Snapchat me a photo. I'm on Snapchat also. It's Yarn Utopia on Snapchat. And then you can uh, post this on Instagram and hashtag 365 Days of Granny Squares and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your lovely squares today. This is so simple. It's going to work up so fast for you. It's so wonderful. Also, uh, I have to say a huge thank you to my dad, Fuad Azmet, for taking the time to make this video with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button by my username down there. There's also an I in the corner of this video, or you can go to my channel and click the blue support button. Support Yarn Utopia today so that we can keep bringing you wonderful crochet tutorials. So now let's get started and make number 290 granny square. To start out, let's make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold this down, and then pull that through and pull tight. Insert that hook and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining four. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna slip stitch to the very first chain. So way over here, go in, then yarn over and pull through and pull through. And now you formed a ring. Now going right into round number one, we're going to chain up one and we're going to single crochet back into that ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to single crochet back into the ring. So go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, so there's our chain four space. Now we're going to do the same thing, chain four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet back into the ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. We have to do that again, so chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then, whoopsie, single crochet into the ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. To finish this round, we have to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, okay? Not this chain up one over here, but go into the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, just like that. So now we have round one complete. Now, round two, if you're changing color, you can fasten off here and start in any chain four space and go on to round two, but I'm not going to change color yet. I'm just going to slip stitch into this chain four space. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. So now I'm in the chain four space, and we're going to chain up three. One, 
two, and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. In the same space, we are going to put two double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we have to chain two, one and two, and in the same space, we're going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, then what we're going to do is, let's see here, three double crochets in the next space. So skip over the single crochet, hop into this next space right here for three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then chain two, one, two, and then put three more double crochets in there. So just do that all the way around. In each space, put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So when I finish my last chain space, I will meet you up and we'll go on to round three. All right, when you finish this round, make sure to slip stitch to this chain up three right here. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now, if you're not changing color, slip, go in here. You see uh, we're looking at our square like this, okay? So you can see your four corners here. We are going to start in this space right above this single crochet. So if you're not changing color, just go back in there and then slip stitch like that, okay? And then chain up one. So now you're in between these three double crochet groupings, okay? But I'm actually gonna change color, so I'm not actually gonna do that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you if you weren't changing color, but I'm gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight, grabbing a new color. We're gonna start, so we're gonna start on a side, okay? So you can see your four corners here, 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 here. We're gonna start on the side in a space between these three double crochet groupings, okay? So we're gonna go in, Hook that through, pull that through, just like that, and then chain up one. And in that same space, we are going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Just like that. Now we're going to chain four, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna hop into the corner chain space right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two for a single crochet. And then we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna single crochet back into that same corner. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna go into this space, this kind of, it looks like kind of a gap because it's right above the single crochet here. We're gonna go in there for a single crochet. And we're just going to repeat that around. So chain four, hop into the corner here and make a single crochet, chain four, and a single crochet in that same space. Okay, then chain four, and then hop in between these groupings here and single crochet in there. So just do that for the rest of this round. You're halfway there, so I'll meet you at the beginning of this round. All right, just finishing my last chain four space, and then we have to slip stitch to the first single crochet when you come back to the beginning here. Just go in, yarn over, pull through, and through. Now, I'm not gonna change color. If you're changing color, you can fasten off here and then start in this chain four space right before a corner, okay? I'm not going to change color though, so I'm gonna slip stitch in there. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up three. One, two, and three. And in the same space, we're going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go in to this chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, another double crochet. Now in this chain four space in the corner, we're going to put three double crochet. One, oopsie, oh my goodness. Ah, okay, <laughs> sorry. One, two, and three. Then chain two, right? Yes, chain two. 
one and two, and then put three more double crochets in that corner. <laughs> My yarn kind of got silly on me. All right, now we're just going to put three double crochets in each of these next two chain four spaces. So one, two, and three in this one. Then hop to the next one and put three in that one. Three double crochets, there we go. And then we're just going to make our corner just like our last corner. So we're going to put three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all in that same corner space. Okay, so just do that all the way around. Uh, if you need to, you can follow along with the written pattern that's linked in the description of this video, but otherwise I'll just uh, meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to the next round together. All right, when you put your last three double crochets in that last chain four space, make sure you slip stitch to this chain up three here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and through, pull tight. If you're not changing color, well, regardless if you're changing color or not, just fasten off because we're starting the next round in a corner. So chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, pull tight. Start your next round in a corner, chain two space. So grab that new yarn, whether it's the same color or a different color, and then chain up three. One, two, and three. And that counts as the first double crochet of this round. And in the same space, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, another double crochet. Okay, then we're going to chain two one and two, and put three more double crochets in that same space. So one, two, and three. All right, now we are going to put three double crochets in the gaps, let's see here, in these gaps between our groupings here. So you see this gap here? We're gonna put three double crochets in there. So one, two, and three. Okay, then hop to the next gap between these three double crochet groupings here. Okay, we're putting three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Then we're hopping to the next gap in between these groupings, and we're putting three double crochets in there. Then, when you get to the chain two corner space, we're going to be putting three double crochets one, two, and three, then chain two, one, two, and then three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're just going to repeat what we did on this side and this corner for each side and each corner. It's very simple, you guys. We're just gonna put three double crochets in each of the gaps between the three double crochet groupings. And then in the corners, we are putting three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up at the end of round five. When you come back around, be sure to slip stitch to the top of this chain up three right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now we are going to uh, start in a corner, let's see here. Yep, I'm going to start in a corner, so I'm going to change color here. Uh, if you are not, are not changing color, just slip stitch in these next two stitches and slip stitch into this chain two corner space and just chain up one and go on to round six. But I'm going to chain one and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. I am going to start in the corner right here and I'm going to use my other color that I have and then chain up one. And now in the corner here, we're going to put two single crochet, so go in yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. And then again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're gonna chain two, one and two, and we're going to put two more single crochets into that same corner space. So one and two. Okay, and that's our corner. Now we're just gonna single crochet into each stitch on this side, on each side, and each stitch all the way around. We're single crocheting, so I'll tell you how many that is on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, it should be 15 actually, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. So 15 single crochets across until you get to the next corner. We're going to put two single crochet, chain two, and two single crochet all in that same corner space, okay? And then single crochet in the next 15 stitches. You know, you could change out this round and do half double crochets or double crochets, uh, but I'm just gonna single crochet because that is what the pattern says. And then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. We'll fasten off together. When you're finished with this round, just slip stitch to the beginning stitch here, the first single crochet, or if you did a half double crochet or double crochet round, just slip stitch to the beginning, yarn over, pull through and through, and then we can fasten off. So chain one, cut that, pull it, pull tight, and sew in your ends. But there it is. Oh my gosh, 290 granny square is complete. 75 to go. That's so exciting. There it is. Big thank you to Julie for allowing us to use this pattern, this super fast square in our project. It looks so fabulous. Make sure to share your photos on the Facebook and Instagram so I can see them today. Happy hooking!